everybody, it's Simply Celicia. It's been a while since we've had like an MV analysis and I am super excited because I'm going to kick it off with Shadow because I am obsessed. <laughs> like I wrote this immediately yesterday. I am so excited and ready to do this. Um, so please just remember anything I say here is surely not the only way it can be interpreted and you know it's honestly probably not the only way I'll interpret it by the time I watch it a million more times and that is why I want to hear your theories. Please tell me what you think down below. Tell me you know what it is that was your like impression whether it be like storyline theory or just figuring out the video in general. Um, I want to know. And it's also just a reminder here as well that um, in my analysis, I try to bring in story elements with like that has to do with the storyline and stuff and kind of connect the dots. But mostly overall, what I do is fueled by like film theory. Don't forget to tell me what you think down below. So when the video opens, it opens with figures in the hallway. They're kind of all in black facing the doors. Yoongi is in black at the end of the hall and you know there's tons of like red wax down the side of the walls and you know around the doorway he's standing in front of and i've actually seen a lot of posts that say this is an art piece and it references uh what anish kapoor made so this is the name of it if you want to look into it i think it's super fascinating um and then here's a few pictures of what it looks like so that's just a reference there for you guys and it'll make sense as we kind of go through and break down the video but moving forward as the viewers we are pushing through the shattered mirror that is rebuilding often a shattered mirror when it comes to film is a way to show a broken identity a step further in this context for me was that this mirror had to be shattered in order to see the full picture Yoongi doesn't just want to see what the world sees, the surface of what he's choosing to present. He's going deeper into the hidden parts of himself, the full scope of his identity. However, the mirror works in two ways for me. If the first is a break in identity, the second would be from the perspective that the mirror is being built back up as we move forward, kind of like he is looking at himself and reversing back to start. This is the man that was in the mirror before it shattered or was shattered by him. And even more, the thoughts of this man, which is why Yoongi is now in the tan and white, with no figures around. Right away, we see Yoongi rolling through these thoughts here, kind of listing what he wants. These are very specific statements, very big dreams, and a type of all-encompassing direction many artists start with when they are formulating their careers. Left. I want to be the top. I want to be a rock star. I want it on mine. I want to be rich. I want to be the king. Having him in two different colors is also a visual that sets up our Jungian archetypes. This is Shadow, and Shadow is regarded as the source of both our creative and destructive energy. I'm using a very simplified explanation, but I think that's enough info to wrap your head around this MV as we move forward. The next image for me, at least this pose, screams crucifixion. Crucifixion was used as capital punishment even long before the time of Jesus. However, I know a lot of people can identify that example since it's major religious imagery. As punishment, it was meant to serve as a warning to others that might follow in the footsteps of those crucified and so on. Don't run away with the thought of like, oh my god, Yungi is suffering in this pose as proof of him warning others to not be idols. Just wait a minute, that's not where I'm going with this. Looking at the content as a whole, I view it more as a layer about giving up self, giving up your sense of personality or you as you are in order to attain something greater. That's what I feel because I grew up in a religious household, so this is why it jumps out to me. For when, for anyone else, <laughs> you might have just been like, yo, he's just laying on the ground, which is entirely possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and move on. I'm pretty sure that Shadow samples Oh Are You Late 2. But I want to put the lyrics of that song up just because I think it's so cool how relevant all of this still is. Not only just for Shadow, but how this concept was even applied to the speech given to the UN and so on. Much like the energy given in OR You Late 2, Yoongi runs forward straight into the thick of it with all his effort. That's when we are hit back into Yoongi in black when he is waking up being in this place that he's always been chasing. Yoongi and White is still driving this story, and honestly, he's made it easy for all of us with the lyrics. 
in this segment, um, I saw some theories over parallels to fake love in here with uh, Yoongi running down the hallway, much like Jungkook runs down the hallway, and they have kind of like that same setup of doorways and everything else throughout. Um, I also want to say the imagery took me back to one of the other concepts of love yourself, answer the S concept. So I think there's a lot to see in there. It also made me think of the love yourself highlight reels and kind of this is an ongoing narrative that BTS has given us and you know I think they're just super genius. So for the song, Yoongi is saying pretty much exactly what he means. But as we are all different people with different experiences, we will all receive his words and meaning differently. For me, this segment of the video took me exactly back to the moment um, where he said after the AMA performance, he cried not out of excitement and happiness, but of fear because of, you know, what is next. And then that thought brought me back to Icarus. In Boy With Love, we already have Namjoon's verse saying he takes his wings not towards the sun, but towards us, which is great, but also as fans, we're still kind of the sun, or at least potential to be the sun that melts Icarus's wings. All these big dreams and motivations that Yoongi has listed in the song and strive for can be the very thing that destroy a person if you aren't careful and lose yourself. We know from past songs and V-Lives, etc. that Yoongi has struggled with anxiety and depression and so on. Those kinds of things don't just disappear overnight. They can knock on your door anytime, and for some, it can be constantly or, you know, different scenarios can contribute to it. There's a lot of pressure when you're operating at the level that BTS has achieved. So when the figures kind of get their hands on Yoongi and drag him down and he sighs, the impact of that visual is huge for the viewer. I think most people can identify with this. I think, you know, in that same vein, we, you know, we still have the, this glass being broken instead of now it's like by microphones. I think the microphone smashing through the glass is also a representation of their promise to bring honesty through their experience and into their music. They don't want to hide from us in their music. They want to continue to embrace it all, just like Yoongi is going back and forth with himself later in the song and realizing that, you know, these two separate sides of him are one. Essentially, there are things about ourselves we can't outrun. But I want to interject here and say that you're capable of kind of, you know, overcoming and just working on yourself. Even at the peak of feeling dragged down, there is mo so much more to you as an individual in this world. And, you know, whether you're dealing with things that are chronic or not, whatever cards you're dealt with, you're still in this and, you know, I'm rooting for you in general. That's kind of all I wanted to say about that. It's just a mid-video pep talk. But the lyrics made me think about, you know, the saying of, you know, the higher you climb, the farther you fall. Or in this instance, the closer you are to the light, the bigger your shadow. The more things to fear, the more to consume you. And that's when we hit kind of like our next big tonal shift in the MV and in the song. So that means it's time to talk about color theory. And let me tell you, this is red, 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 so much red as a major theme throughout. I've spoken about red before. It's keyword of the kind of um, energy brings to a scene it can be violence and passion. So it has those same kind of dynamic we've been talking about this entire time. Think about the power of that in this music video, which is already running on, you know, that concept of creativity and destruction. Yoongi is a powerful figure all on his own. Toss this heavy red in here and we are off to the races, basically. At this point of this drop, Yoongi saying what he wants is not only just innocently trying to manifest goals, it's almost like a mantra that could drive you crazy. The power you receive in these kinds of scenarios and successes can almost be like turning you into a monster that just wants more and more and more. Don't doubt that these two sides are battling, and we all experience this because we have moments of good and bad within to get highlighted and suppressed all the time in different scenarios. It's the embracing of it all that sets us free, in a way. There's a pace and madness to the lifestyle of an idol that makes it hard to see and think straight, which aids to these more wild editing effects. 
We also know, as Yungi and other members have spoken out about how they feel in situations where people are so close, such as airport incidents and, you know, just day to day trying to be out and about, it's a great visual of hysteria or even, you know, when someone with anxiety might be feeling when they are such a focal point of pop culture and everyone wants a piece of you or, you know, some type of memory. This type of environment almost drills you into being someone that has to be like, yeah, I'm the shit, you can't touch me, I'm the best, to kind of just try and get through the bulk of it all. Not to mention, everyone is watching every single step. As you evolve into the next area of your life, you shed what you know about yourself, and it is sometimes hard to know what to keep and what to let go in your constant state of transformation. Shadow is powerful, shadow is important, shadow as an interlude takes us deeper into them than perhaps we've been before. Now, let's wait and see what they have planned to introduce to us next. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed my discussion and thoughts on shadow, please share it with a friend and I hope you know, that this can, like, I'm just super excited about this comeback, so I want to talk about it with everyone. Please, um, you know, drop your information down below, and I am ready to talk about it down there. Um, and other than that, you know, if you like what I do on this channel, once again, please like, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my socials and stuff so we can keep up with each other. I am hoping to do an album giveaway for like our first giveaway of the year so please stick around for that and keep your eyes peeled on my socials and everything for you know the announcements and stuff for that otherwise i'll see you guys next time bye